Welcome to today's Garage Devotional. I'm Pastor Ted from Connect Church in Ventura. Today we continue our series, A Lift, to help us stay on the road. We're in part five. The passage we're going to be looking at today is 1 Peter 5, 6 through 11. And as we continue to look at ways to be open or to position ourselves to be lifted up, that would result in a lift in our situations, in our emotions, our understanding. That also will result in empowering us to get out on the road again. If we have stopped, if we've kind of fumbled, if we're kind of in a ditch spiritually, it'll get us out of it by doing this. Let's read the verses for today. Beginning in verse 6 says, Humble yourselves, Therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt us or he may lift us up, casting all our anxieties on him because he cares for us. Be sober minded. Be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Resist him. Firm in your faith, knowing that the same kind of suffering are, suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore you, confirm you, strengthen you, establish you. To him be dominion forever and ever. Amen. Here we see a way to be lifted up when we fall into that ditch, when we fall into that struggle, when we fall into a place where it seems like we're being just beat up on by the enemy. Jesus will lift us up. And here's one way. Humility is the road to being lifted up. In our lives as Christ followers, humility is the road to be lifted up. Grabbing hold of position and power and prestige, etc., will always leave us in the ditch all alone with no one to help us. Grabbing a hold of humility will always lift us up and get us back on the road that Jesus wants us on. We need to throw our anxieties onto Jesus. How do we do that? Consciously or mentally toss what you are anxious about to Jesus. Give it over to him in prayer. Go to a close and also go to a close and trusted friend or person where you can share your anxiety with them and ask them to partner with you in prayer. It's kind of like when we talk about throwing our anxieties or getting rid of them. It's kind of like when you maybe get stuck on the side of the road or you lock your keys in your car like I did this week and you can't get in. You call AAA. And AAA comes and they open and they open the car as they did for me. And then all that, all that maybe anxiousness, all that that thinking, what, how am I going to get this done today because this happened, all goes away. It all goes away. Jesus does that for us. Any concerns or anxiousness that you might have, toss it to Jesus. Let Him, who is the peace giver. The one who takes all our anxieties, the one who takes all our fears, the one who takes all our struggles and our problems, give it to him. The last part of this passage encourages us to be alert, and he couples it with a level head or sound thinking plus faith. And he says, that'll keep us on the road with Jesus. That'll keep us going, and that'll lift us up. You know, if we do not regularly service our cars or stay aware of the condition of our cars, we will find ourselves broken down on the side of the road. It is the same in our lives, in our spiritual lives, our physical lives. If we do not take care of ourselves physically, spiritually as well, mentally as well, and, and remind ourselves to keep a level head in all this, we'll find ourselves in the ditch on the side of the road. But when we do find ourselves there, let's turn to Jesus and let him lift us up. When we do the things like spiritually, emotionally, physically, tossing our cares and anxieties on Jesus, that we follow him and we let him lift us up. We will find ourselves experiencing peace and a healthy, balanced life. Today, I want to share the, the car that i like you to see today, and that is a Plymouth Cuda. This is a 1970 Plymouth Cuda. It is a third generation Cuda. I had one just like this of a different color. Mine was orange and it didn't have the hockey stick decals. 
and the Plymouth Cuda became one of the, the most popular muscle cars or pony cars of that, of that era back in the 1970s, uh, along with the Chevy Camaro as, as well. But uh, my favorite is this car. I wish I never had to get rid of it, uh, but uh, it's a great just picture of, of the car that, uh, that so many people gravitated towards during that period. Uh, so there you go. That is it for today. We will continue next week.